What's up guys, uh, this is Ravens with uh, another video of the gold UMP45. Uh, this one's going to be pretty comprehensive and not a snapshot like my last video was. Now uh, this uh, commentary is not really going to be about the gameplay but I like I normally do I just want to give you a quick rundown of what I'm doing here now like you guys know interchange is a pretty large map and uh, what I'm doing right now with this gun is I'm actually using range as a proficiency uh, to, to you know to basically help me uh, I guess counter some of its limitations with it being an SMG and uh, like I've uh, said before uh, you know not using kick uh, really hinders this gun but uh, I somehow uh, managed to make it work uh, now uh, you know on to what I'm about to talk about which is something really really important and much bigger than this gameplay it's basically Sopa and Pippa and before I go into what I'm gonna say uh, I want to congratulate everyone uh, on uh, the fact that Sopa and Pippa were rejected at the House and Senate levels recently. Congratulations to people who called their representatives, you know, and uh, made themselves heard basically, whether it be it on Facebook or blogs or whatever. You know, great job, guys. So, uh, if you guys have been living under a rock or, uh, you know, on a different planet and you don't really know what's going on, SOPA is basically the Stop Online Piracy Act. Uh, it's basically a US based bill which was introduced by US representatives, uh, Republicans basically, to uh, expand the ability of the US law enforcement to fight online trafficking. Uh, basically, copyright infringement and uh, intellectual property uh, they want to they want to protect that well sounds good right well uh, not really after I explain a little bit more uh, the PIPA which is the protect IP act does that same uh, does that on the same lines except on an IP level where they basically limit rogue websites basically which do these sort of uh, infringement or uh, copyrights uh, basically uh, they, they go against these copyright protections uh, now, uh, if you're wondering where uh, Sopa or Pippa came from, this is really not something new. Uh, Sopa and Pippa, to give you the breakdown of what these things are, are basically brainchilds of the media industry in the 1990s. The media were basically back then worried that people like you and me were able to produce content and share, like, uh, you know, record stuff, share it with your friends, make mixtapes. That obviously was e eating into their profits and they didn't really like that. So they came on uh, board with the DMCA, which is uh, the Digital Millennia uh, Copyright Act which by the way backfired on them because that act actually worked in our favor because it actually said that it's okay to copy stuff it's okay to share stuff with your friends but you obviously can't sell that stuff so obviously that didn't work so they went back to the drawing board and they came up with different variations of that act uh, now uh, before I go into what those variations are I want to point out that a few days ago mega upload uh, basically a website which provides file sharing services was shut down by the US Department of Justice and the FBI now as a lot of you know that this was even before uh, soap or paper was even close to being enforced or even being voted on uh, it was just taken down a few days ago and the reason why that was possible is because it was a dot com website which meant it was under US jurisdiction automatically so they've basically pinned them with like 500 million dollars in charges related to copyright infringement which no doubt again relates to the media industry. Now the real threat of uh, Pippa and Sopa is, is, is really going to limit or completely disable us from sharing content. What it does in a nutshell is that it takes the concept of innocent until proven guilty and reverses it to guilty until proven innocent. So uh, to give you an example, uh, this video which I'm putting up right now, which you guys are currently viewing, I can't really put this up until I can irrevocably uh, prove that its content is not illegal. It's basically making the internet a policed entity, which I believe is step one in the process of the ultimate goal of not making it free. 
So it's basically impossible for a, you know, a website like YouTube or Facebook or Craigslist to police their stuff. So basically all these websites would be shut down just like mega upload or, or even disrupted, uh, you know, and, and this is all um, mega upload, for example, was taken down quite frankly by a toned down version of Pepper and Sopa. Think about it, guys. You pretty much pay for everything when it comes to entertainment, TV, movies, video games, heck, even strippers, right? <laughs> Just kidding, guys. But I guess we really do pay for all of that. This has to be next because this is the single biggest source that they can control and their audience is far wider than even their wildest dreams. Now, we won our battle uh, or this battle by voicing our opinion and the users of the internet people like you and me stood up for what is right but they uh, the media will be back because they're losing money and we are in a war trust me guys so educate yourselves because this affects everyone who uses the internet yes even you watching now they're losing viewers they're losing money and uh, every day to people like you and me who make videos, who share content, and they want to monopolize entertainment. And we should simply say two words. Fuck you.